Oh boy, they're here. Wrestling for a Cause returns to the ring tomorrow for Welcome to Tulsa. So here this morning to share all about the wrestling field event, our wrestlers Justin Lee and a new one, Riley Grin, along with organizer and wrestler Tim Rockwell. Welcome to the studio. You know, I was going to wear that same shirt. We could have matched. And we could have matched. Could have looked like a tag team again, I Sonny. Say, I should have worn my sunglasses, though. It's oh. kind of blinded me over here. Yeah, you got bright lights here. We do have some bright lights. Yes, we certainly do. And they're kind of shining off of that shirt there. But so you, now you guys, we, we love having you in-house. You guys are always fun and entertaining. But but you brought somebody new with you today. And you look a little bit young down there. Are, are you? Bit. Are you? A little bit. A little whippersnapper. What's your name? 18 years old. My name is Riley Grin. Riley Grin. Now, Riley, you are you're an up-and-coming wrestler, correct? Correct. I am, yes. I've been in the business for a few months now, mm -hmm. but uh, professional wrestling, it, it kind of followed me throughout my life. Um, I was always surrounded by, I never had family in the business or anything, but eventually I just took it as a sign and uh, oh. I, I think I was destined to do this. You so. were destined. Okay. Where'd you guys find this uh, this youngster here? He what? actually uh, showed up one day at a training facility we were training and uh, he, he had already been training and right. this was three years ago so like he's been training for a long so you, time you were 15 just wandered into the ring mm -hmm. and these guys slapped some tights on you and made you get out there and fight right yeah there you go okay and now he wants to be the next justin lee and he might be uh, that someday boy. someday he's not quite someday. there yet he's got it's years like, to go it's like, like, it's like if like justin that. had a grandson it would be <laughs> <It's kind of laughs> whoa, whoa, hey, i'm not that old calm down <laughs> Our, and it begins. Oh. Okay. Now, <laughs> if, we have you guys on all the time. And yeah. you, you do wrestling, and it's called Wrestling for a Cause. Mm -hmm. And the cause is always something wonderful. I will say that. What is it for this time? Uh, this time, we're going to, we are going to do it for WFC. So in order to do these shows, we have to have funds to do these shows. Right. So November is going to be the show that we do. Same great cause. New venue at venue 918. We're going to oh. raise money for WFC because next show we got a benefit that we want to make sure we have enough money to continue, continue to do to. these events. So, because, you know, we, don't, we have sponsors, but we don't have a whole lot of sponsors. So our sponsors right now, they're covering like a lot of the costs, like venue costs, flyer costs. Um, we actually have a former WWE star JTG coming in. Oh, and my. That's a special treat for everybody in Tulsa. So, Hopefully we can get everybody out to see JTG and, and the stars of WFC. Um, right. He's going to be in the main event against Barrett Brown. And, of course, of course we have plenty of other wrestling matches going on. Mm -hmm. uh, Justin's going to go – he's going to be one-on-one -on -one with the guy that that – he turned his back on Dan oh. Weber. I'll let Justin handle Oh, yeah, that Justin, one tell me. Who well, even is. bigger than that, Sonny, they're going to be auctioning off a championship belt. Now, you look great today, as always. Thank you. Thank You'd look you. even better if you showed up to the news – with a with a intercontinental championship around your waist, and you could do that if you come out Saturday. We're gonna have a raffle oh. during intermission. Oh All the benefits going to help kids with cancer. All of our WFC causes that we normally do, yep. but you could also go home a champion, just like I've been many many times in my career, champion many times over. And speaking of championship matches, one of the big ones to watch, Alex Royal defending the Hometown Heroes Championship. Now, this is a belt that's just for, it's an Oklahoma-based belt. If you look at the belt, it's so intricate details. There's the skyline of Tulsa on there. This is well, the belt okay. he will yeah. be defending. This is the one we unveiled on the show. That's future. right, you guys. Because yeah. I was yes. already picturing, like, what outfit I was going to wear this with. Well, so, you hey, know. <laughs> the Lee tag team still could happen. We could challenge we for could, the belts this Saturday if you right. want. Justin Lee, Sonny right. Lee, it's a sign. It it's could happen. Sign. It All could right. happen. Now, I got to ask you, do you have a signature move yet? I know you're only 18, that you're just starting out, but do you have have a move yet that's really been taken down some of the opponents? I have one that's worked a couple times. Yeah. It's called the Red Machete. The Red Machete. The Red Machete. It's not, it's not pretty, but it works. Okay. It works. Hey, well, that's kind of like these two. <laughs> hey, wait a second. Oh. 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 Right. Speak for yourself. Well, I'm, I'm pretty. On the oh. Look, there's no denying I'm pretty, okay? <laughs> I dress All right. pretty. All right, here we go. Welcome to Tulsa. You got to come out and support this great cause. They give so much to kids in the community. It's tomorrow at 6 p.m. So after you get done watching Bedlam, go out and attend yes. this wrestling match. Yes. It's at venue 918, 11505 East 40, 43rd Street in Tulsa. For tickets and more information, check out WFCPrimeLive.com. Good luck, guys. Thank you.